Okay, so I'm here with Peter Schlessel, that's you, Hello. and Bob Bernie, that's you, who just uh, started a Film District, and we're here to talk today about what their plans are for this new independent studio. So my first question is, uh, why are you guys feeling optimistic about starting an independent studio at a time that's pretty tough for the industry overall? Well, I mean, I think for one, the exhibitors across the country have a lot of screens, and they need product, and with the studios doing Fewer films, bigger films, tent poles. There's a lot of screens for uh, for a company that has wide release films and the ability to market and finance the PMA. And do you agree with that, Peter? I mean, you I think I do agree with that. I, I believe the independent community is still being uh, smart about how many films they're making. So there's a lot of opportunity to get films that deserve a wide release. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like what kinds of movies would you like to see Film District releasing? If you could characterize them just in terms commercial of commercial movies that make money. Right. No, but huh? wide, films that are wide release, whether it's their romantic comedies or action movies. Or are you looking for, you, you're well known for bringing in District 9, for example, to Sony. Bob's well known for shepherding My Big Fat Greek Wedding to great success. Are those the kinds of movies that you want to be I released? I want those successes. Um, I think the kind yeah. of movies will be dependent upon what's available in the marketplace. Yeah, I think, I think the idea of finding something that the timing works in the marketplace, also that has a, you know, opportunistic acquisition based because we're acquiring films uh, not so you won't be making here. films no we won't mm -hmm. be making films we're acquiring films and I think that's the thing that the base for the cost of the acquisitions and we look at the how we feel we can release a film wide and the timing could be any genre I mean a good example is a film we just picked up Drive which is a great genre action film but it's got a really great cast and kind of a it's kind of a Who's elevated. It? It's Ryan Gosling, Carey Mulligan, Brian Cranston, Christina Hendricks, Alan mm -hmm. Brooks. You know that kind of material um, is perfect. A great script, but can, but a definite genre film. And you, to your mind, the, the reason studios—if the studios say they're not making those films anymore because it's not worth it, because DVD sales are down, because it costs too much to market them—what's your answer to that? Well, I, I think the studios have an infrastructure that is geared towards big, wide releases, big, big movies that do north of a hundred million because they have a development slate that they have to pay for and they have enormous amounts of production, distribution, and uh, other kinds of overhead. And we're a little bit more of a lean, mean machine. So movies that perform in a certain range will be profitable for us, but maybe not worth doing at a studio. Right, okay. So you're making a six to eight films a year. Um, when you say wide, what do you mean wide? I mean, independent film we think of as could be 10 screens, right? Well, I think anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 prints, but a wide release and that's a, a, that's a big release. market. 3,000 prints, that's a lot. It's a lot, but it's, it's you know, there's, there, there, there's films that are more and less, but that's, but I think it covers all the, it's a national wide release that drives awareness for the ancillary values. Is it, and now isn't the most important piece of building a distribution company, having all those ancillary deals set up, not just the, the film piece of it, so what do you need to put in place still, and what have you got in place in terms of secondary well, we're lucky we still have an ongoing relationship with Sony, so Sony will be handling this, uh, DVD for us, and they'll be handling the free TV, and we're in negotiations now to have our own pay TV deal. Mm -hmm. So uh, we feel like we have all the right assets from a distribution standpoint to to do a great job for people's product, so and handle it through all media. And how soon do you expect to, the company to be profitable? It's it's hopefully as soon as the movies start releasing. So next year, you're just going to be your first. We have three, your first three or four year? movies scheduled for next year, or will have scheduled for next year, and we'd like to. Know do a good job in all of them. Okay, fantastic. Look forward to seeing those films. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.